Anti-abortion advocates gathered at the Capitol today to show support for a bill that would make it more difficult to change the Missouri Constitution. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon joins us live at the state capitol after talking with lawmakers and advocates. Hannah, anti-abortion advocates hope this bill would prevent the state from restoring abortion access. Lucas, when Roe versus Wade was overturned almost two years ago, Missouri banned abortions, but a petition that's currently gathering signatures could restore that access. However, anti-abortion advocates are asking lawmakers to block it from succeeding. It, it needs to be more difficult to, to change our state constitution. Missouri citizens can amend the state constitution through a process called initiative petition, but many Republican lawmakers are trying to make it more difficult. It is intended to set up a system where it becomes almost impossible for something to pass. Why do you think now is the time that they're really pushing for IP reform? Well, because we have an opportunity or we will have an opportunity this year to restore abortion access in this state and they're terrified of that. If this thing gets on the ballot, if it, one of them does get passed, it basically enshrines the right to kill a child into our state constitution as a constitutional right. Wes Scroggins and his group called Abolition of Abortion in Missouri held a rally in the Capitol Rotunda today. Advocating for a higher threshold for initiative petitions to pass so that a petition that could restore abortion access in Missouri is less likely to succeed. We believe that the preborn child deserves the same equal justice, equal protection under the law that born persons do. That initiative petition reform bill is making progress here at the Capitol. Tomorrow it will have a fiscal review hearing. Reporting live at the state Capitol, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Hannah, thank you. If the legislature does pass that bill, well, the people of Missouri would have to approve it through a vote before it could go into effect.